Hi everybody, it's Tina from Tina's Messy Crafty Life. How are you? I hope you're good. I am here with a medium-sized prize box from Kathy's Room. I want to say I received it like two and a half weeks ago. But as you all know, my father-in-law passed away. I got this before he passed away because him and I have the same mailman. And I stopped the mailman and said, I have a box coming. Can you leave it at Dad's? And he's like, not a problem. I actually opened it at Dad's, and he kind of saw what I got. He made a comment. I think she left out the kitchen zinc. I had to giggle because it was packed. He couldn't believe how much he got in it. So I'm here to share. And I was, she told me not to worry about a video. I told her I let her, I got it and what was going on. And she's like, don't worry about it. But I was putting stuff away today because I am home. And everything is funeral, burial is done now it's just you know the steps after and i'm no part of that so i can be home so i'm trying to get tidy up my house a little bit and my craft room and putting things away and i just don't have the energy actually but i thought i'd come on and show you what i want from kathy's world so it's on both sides of me and behind me so the first thing i'm showing i thought this was so cool my father-in-law actually thought this was a neat idea and he's like, I think I got some of these downstairs somewhere. So he mentioned it to Scott and Annette. It came across these little things. Any crafty things that put in a box and give it to Tina and she'll go through. So it's, I think it's so cool. It's so neat looking. It's on, it's all vintage paper. And I don't know if she made this, but it's stitched. This one's, I'm going to try to fix a little bit because it's a little rough, but that's all right. It's stitched here different layers so you got a piece of atlas you know it's so cool on this that i'm not even going to take it off and do anything with it i am actually going to roll it back up and i have a plan for this later on myself for decoration in my kitchen so i gotta be very gentle it's so neat but I'm going to get it so it doesn't unspin eventually. But I thought it was so cool. My father in law said, I tell you, he said, You crafty ladies, you know, you come up with the damnedest things, he said. Because at first he was very lucid and could talk when I got the box. So I got some elastic string. And I got some, um, whatchamacallit, foam tape. Like this little jar. Need a jar. And then, but there's a surprise inside the little jar. They're self adhesive, little stickers on the back. And they are these little, like, t I don't know what you call them, flatbacks. But look at the little vintage girls. And then the Eiffel Towers. Aren't those cute? I uh, love the faces of the girls. So got that in this little jar. And I must have misplaced one. It's because Scott found the other one. He gave it to me, so I put it back in the jar. <coughs> we got some of this, um, I don't know what you call it. I call it trim or lace, but I know it's a certain type of material. And so we got the yellow and got like a maroon and a green. Nice fall colors. Then this little mesh bag. This thing is gorgeous. I was like, oh my God, I love this. At first I thought it was just beads and a chain. It is actually a necklace. And this thing is beautiful. I like, I'm like, I like that. My daughter was eyeing this up and I'm like, I don't think so. Thumb was there when I was opening the box. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. I was like, I love that. I love everything, but you know, I was like, that ain't it. It's going in my jewelry box. Right in the little mesh bag until I wear it. Then we got some gears. Can never have enough gears. A little package of gears. Yeah, and then we got some boom boobies, little charms, and 
I thought they were so cute. A little small one and a big one. A medium sized ones. So cute. Little bumblebees. Got a pair of scissors. Got a bottle of glue. And I almost, my, I use barely art glue, but this is basically the same thing. And I'm almost out of barely art glue, so this was good timing. I got this, and it has this little tip. I think this is for nails, but I, because it has this type of brush. Really pretty blue. Really pretty blue. And then I got some gems on the bottom. We got this little bag of metal. And I call these like um, drawer flame. It's where you put the paper beside you and know what's in a drawer. Got a whole stack of them and the little screws or boxes, whatever you choose to use them for. And we got some white beads, little teardrop beads, silver beads, and tube beads. Got another bag of beads with black and white and silver. Little bundle, tool. Got this little bag of goodness. We got this little brown tone. I think this is actually a necklace now that I'm moving it around a little bit. Oh, it is a necklace. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if they were strung that for a sale or it's actually a necklace. You just take them off when you use them. So that's cool. Love the color. And we got some green and it looks like some blue in there. Beads. We got some purple, green, blue, and look at a Hello Kitty charm. Little miscellaneous bead bag. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. One thing about Kathy's medium sized boxes. Yeah, awesome. We got a chain. They're awesome. So the one one on bingo night, and I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. I saw so much potential, and I'm seeing so much potential as it right now, too. So we got this pretty chain, and it actually looks like rhinestones, very tiny. Another little bag of beads. Got little silver ones. And it's odd shaped. I don't know what type of shape you'd call that. Got these little metal ones. Got these with the little loops on them. Got these earth tone colored ones. And then we got these clear crystal like ones. And we got these little suns. I uh, not suns, sunflowers. Look like that. Little charms. Some are really pretty. I like sunflowers. That's what they look like to me, sunflowers. We got baby seashells. And this I can wear with that pretty necklace that's in the mesh bag. Right here. Because I think they look good together. Now I'm actually going to put it together. Put them together. Look at this brooch. Oh, that's so pretty. Does that look pretty together? You can put the wear a necklace and a brooch. Sometimes Simon says you don't wear both, but they look good together. They look good together. They look good together? I think they look good together. Well, they're going in the same bag. Alright. 
So I was telling my sister-in-law, we were down in the basement, because things had to be organized and gone through as long as we were there. And we were looking at this book, and the bookmarker in the book, I said to Ned, if you come across any of these, save these for me. She's like, why? I said, because we can use them, I use them in crafting. Well, in Kathy's box, I got a pack of them. <laughs> and she, I showed my sister-in-law, and she giggled. And then I showed my father-in-law, and she's watching me. He says, oh, yeah, there's a lot of those around the house. So I got a pack from Kathy. <laughs> my sister-in-law just like, oh, my God, you just told me about that yesterday. And I'm like, yep. So, got a good portion of them. I thought it was funny. Because she was like, what? And I'm like, oh, yeah. We use all kinds of stuff. And then, I got these stickers that I think my future daughter-in-law is going to eye up. Because she loves sea turtles. So, I'm thinking of putting them on a sheet of magnet. And cutting them around them. And giving her as a... Magnets. So I don't think there's any dupes in here. Well, that looks like one. It'd be a cute little gift for her. So I'm going to see turtle magnets. They're so cool. Then I got this, and I was checking this out. And I got white, black, and two different color shades of blue. And it's Opa Dye Color Pour Resin Midnight. So I believe it's drops for resin. I don't know what else I could do with this at the moment. But I will figure it out. Because I don't use resin. But I'm thinking there's got to be another way I could use this. Other than in resin. So I'm going to do some research on that. And I got some little just little note cards very pretty ones note cards I got this box which the box is beautiful our note cards with the envelopes and they're pretty I love the black and the pink I love black and pink together so quick little note a couple note cards to do that. Then I got this pack, Memories of Restoring, and they're a pack of these postcards. They're pretty cool looking. Some got this like sh design on the edge. It's pretty cool. They look like that on the back. Pretty much the same, but they are so cool looking. They're really good too. They're not thin. I like how it looks like it's burnt. Look at the shape of that one. Isn't that cool looking? It's really cool looking. Red flowers. So they're cool looking for a reptica, you know. Uh, do we need? And then I got, and I've never had these Pearl X pig, powdered pigments. And there's only one missing. And like Kathy said, some stuff is pre used. I've never used these, so I'm going to have to look th this up. But they're cool colors. Got that. And then I got a stamp set by Mary's Mail. Cute stuff inside. And there's the stamps. Isn't that cute? I love cute stuff inside. Just for you. Sealed with a kiss. I love to hear from you. The Queen has written just a note from me to you. That was cute. First, the bottle of glue I told you about, and I have stuff sit behind me. Also, this was a kit. I watched Kathy show this. This is cool. So you got the clear and the white. 
You got the little brush and the piece, the wood pieces. You got the sandpaper, the magnet, and you got the stickers to make flower market market magnets. And I'm like, oh my god! I actually opened this at Dad's because I thought, well, maybe I'll sit at the table some night and do that while I was, you know, or when I was down there and had to watch them. Except I never. I couldn't concentrate on even coloring to craft anything else. But this is cool. I'm going to do this and put it in my mom mat fridge. But you got everything. Everything you need to do that. It's one of those little kits you got. It was so cool. Leave it all up so I don't lose it. I might work on that this, this upcoming weekend. Then the other kit which I thought was awesome and I can't wait to do. My daughter was eyeing this up and I'm like, get out of here. My father-in-law said he wanted the cookies on it. But it's a tiered tray. Looks like that. You got the wood piece. You got the paintbrush. You got the, the black and white uh, paint. You got the E6000. You got the little top you got the plates and the directions to how to do it I thought it was kind of cool too what I'm gonna do it's gonna be probably some of my craft room and make sure I got everything in that yep that I believe I showed everything yep so I need to thank Kathy for the awesome prize. And, and I will have Kathy's channel linked in the description box below. So go check it over. Check her over. Check her over. Check out her channel. I know she talked about bringing Bingo back. But I'm so far out of the loop because everything going on with my father-in-law. That I couldn't tell you if she brought Bingo back or not. Um... I have to catch up on watching some YouTube videos, catch up with all the people that support me on my YouTube channel. I have been out of the loop for three weeks, I think. Two and a half for sure. And right now you can't see the top of my table in here because I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff to take down there so things got thrown. And um, I didn't even do anything. I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't color. I couldn't even stencil or anything. It just, my mind would not was on another direction so um but yep i'm looking around i think i showed everything so once again thank you kathy and i like i said i will have kathy's channel and this is right here i'm going to cover her address kathy's world and i know she was feeling a little poorly herself i hope she's doing okay so if kathy you watch this sorry i mean like i said i have it's been a lot. So, um, as always, be happy, be kind, be safe, be, be crafty, and bye for now.